Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Taco Tuesday, and I hope all your taco dreams are coming true. Uh, I've been busy today. I've been busy taking care of the honey-do list. My wife is having some uh, some of her family and friends that are coming over. And so basically what I did to get ready for the season opener, we had to do here at the Red Brick House, which was, oh, man, I've plastered some spots on the walls and put up some molding and put some lights on the deck and uh, prepping some food and hung, hanging some pictures. Uh, you name it, we've done it. So happy wife, happy life. Be that as it may, I've had this thought in my head all day long, and this is the day of the you know players' day off and stuff, so they're out relaxing and, and getting ready for you know practice tomorrow as we get ready for New Orleans, and there is a hurricane that's brewing in the Gulf of Me Mexico that come around Wednesday or so may be hitting Louisiana. We don't know where exactly in Louisiana, but sometime there, so tomorrow or Thursday. And then we're going to be getting a lot of rain here for like four or five days after that uh, on the East Coast. Be that as it may, I've had this thought in my head. Um, and this is where I'll probably get cussed out for, for doing this. Because this is actually doing the thing that we bitched about most, the opposite. We bitched and we moaned and we yelled and we screamed. You'll remember that, you know, Derrick Henry... He's got a couple houses in Dallas. He bought another one there this year. Um, you know, he's waiting for the Cowboys to give him a call and, and everything, right? Now, let me preface it by saying this is just week one, just week one, which is still like preseason. It's just like preseason because, you know, the last time Zeke Elliott was tackled on the ground was last season when he was with New England. So, you know, it takes a couple of weeks before you really get your – football legs and football shape up underneath you. Um, so this is where I say round one. So this is round one of a 17 ring fight. I mean, 17 round fight. Okay. And so we had the Cowboys playing against the uh, Cleveland Browns with the number one yardage defense last year. Okay. Number one, number no if ands they were number one giving up yardage in the NFL, and that's what Zeke Elliott had to face with a rookie tackle and a rookie center. Okay, and so what you what you got is that that's next to the doorbell. What you actually got is Derrick Henry. Had I'm sorry, Zeke Elliott had 10 carries, 40 yards. 10 carries, 40 yards. Four-yard average, one TD, on the road, and one. Okay, so a four-yard average. In comparison to last year when he was at the Patriots, he was at 3.5 yards a carry. Hmm. For the whole season, he only had three touchdowns. Wow. Wow. So he's opened up with one touchdown, 4.0 yards per carry on 40 yards on 10 attempts. Derrick Henry going against the Kansas City Chiefs, with the Chiefs, of course, being one of the top defenses out there in Pat Mahomes, he gets 13 carries, 13 carries for 46 yards and a TD. Okay, hmm, he got a TD, Zeke got a TD, so they're tied there. So last year, he ended up having 12 TDs, just put it out there, 12 rushing TDs. And he averaged 4.2 yards a carry. His average for this past week on the Ravens, with Lamar Jackson getting the lion's share of the running, 3.5. So he's dropped three quarters of a yard per rush. Thus far in round one, still got a TD. Zeke got a TD. Zeke was more efficient, got four yards, 
half a yard more than Derrick Henry. And so you start thinking, okay, Derrick Henry is about $9 million this year, and Zeke Elliott is a lot less, although we are taking care of the dead hit that we had before. So early results, you kind of like that. And this is another one of those cases where you have to say, you know, we'll see how it goes throughout the season. Much like Saquon Barkley, and I'll probably say most running backs are, they start out the season. Saquon's first game of the season is usually like the peak, and he tails off, you know, if he makes it through the season, and he's gone. And usually the first half of Zeke Elliott is usually really pretty good. And then what happens is he gets a PCL or a hyperextended knee or just battered and bruised, and he's not effective. And, you know, usually you'll see him averaging about a half yard um, less per carry the second half of the season versus the first half. So we'll see if that happens. But here's where you may look at this and say, maybe the Cowboys did do something better by bringing back Zeke Because you still have Dalvin Cook, who didn't really get a lot of miles put on him last year and is basically on the practice squad ramping up to be able to play as well. And so maybe the strength in numbers, the the fact that you're paying these two guys, you know, half of what you're paying Derrick Henry, may pay dividends. And this is one of those things that, you know, I pounded my chest and said, part of the problem with the Cowboys is, is actually having depth that you're going to have guys that are nicked up, banged up, and everything else. And that's where when the Rams brought in Odell Beckham Jr., it was because, uh, uh, man, what was his name? Uh, the, one of their main receivers, um, Jefferson? What was it? Nah, I can't remember who it was. But one of their receivers was injured. You bring in Odell, he takes that place. You end up bringing in Von Miller, which gives you a little extra boost. And you start looking at it and saying, okay, This is some wise moves to help when you have a need. So hopefully this is something that the Cowboys will continue to do. And maybe since the Cowboys now have made this commitment to Dak and to CD um, to go ahead and get this thing together, and you know they'll get Micah. But but here's where it will get interesting is as we go along the season, will this end up being the all-in that Jerry Jones talked about, that we grab a couple of pieces. When we look and we see a spot like last year where it was linebackers, that we go out and we bring some more linebackers in. Will it be that the Cowboys do supplement the talent on here where needed, when needed, to make sure that they do well and get different results? So we'll see if that all happens. But, you know, I'm, I'm excited. And thus far, early returns, the running back by committee, you got to admit, the Cowboys went over 100 yards rushing against one of the best fronts in the NFL, and you got to like that. All right, you good people. I'm going to go in here and jump into the shower and clean myself up and make myself presentable. As always, you know I appreciate you. Peace out.